Hello Blazers, City your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, Zoom today. Welcome to a brand new video. And in today's video, guys, I have something quite special for you. As you guys can see, I'm standing in front of a legendary graffiti here. This is the graffiti of the main character from the movie Brad, Danila Bagrov, played by the legendary late Russian actor Sergei Badrov. And I'm specifically starting my video here because today we're gonna be going on a, a little bit of a trip and visiting a bunch of locations from the Brad movie in St. Petersburg. So yeah, hopefully you guys are ready for this journey and let's dive in into the tour of uh, Brad locations in St. Petersburg. Мы лежим под одуванчиковым солнцем, и под нами крутится царь земля. Она больше чем моя голова. В ней хватит места для тебя и для меня. Но мы лежим на склоне холма. Alright people, haven't spent like uh, four hours in a St. Petersburg traffic jam, we finally arrived to our first destination which is right here, the so-called Vitebsky Vakzal or the Vitebsky Railway Station. This is actually the station which uh, Danilo arrives to uh, when he first arrives to St. Petersburg. It was built in the 1800s and the 1850s I believe and it's pretty nice, I mean as you can see the clock tower and everything. Looks pretty European. Uh, let's head inside and uh, go to the exact platform where uh, Danila actually got off and uh, you know see what he saw first in St. Petersburg, I guess. Here, as you can see, they have the waiting room, which is um, actually a bit different. You know, usually Balder Baker, for example, he visits uh, Soviet uh, railway stations. As you can see, this is uh, very much a different vibe. It has uh, all these windows, almost like a cathedral, European cathedral style, a little bit. Check this out. This is like a, almost like a concert hall, more than a, uh, than a railway station. I mean, this is amazing. And here, actually, you can see it's uh, actually 1837, guys. I said it was uh, built in the 1850s. <laughs> I'm a fraud. I got my information wrong. It's actually the 1830s. Check it out, here's an authentic 1830s woman. I mean, yeah, this is uh, actually an incredible place for a photo shoot, now that I see, now that I realize it. I feel like I'm in France or something. I don't know. A bit of a pigeon walking around, and there it is. Well, if you watch the movie Brad, uh, Danila here uh, access the train, the train arrives here and he goes through here. Yes, this is the place. This is where Danila arrives to St. Petersburg. And yeah, I mean, I've never been here. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna be honest, certainly this is nicer than any railway stations I've seen in Moscow. This, is, this has got some, you know, grandeur to it. <laughs> Guys, I'd say the only thing that slightly ruins it is this right here. This uh, shawarma sign in Comic Sans, the worst font possible. Such a great location and uh, they use Comic Sans in here. It is what it is. <laughs> what can you do? Alright people, that was our first location for today, the Vitebsky railway station. Now let's teleport right to our second location. Alright, here we are. That was absolutely rapid. Just got here on these uh, scooters they have, uh, you know, nowadays. This is definitely one thing that Danilo did not have in Brat. You know, this is one advantage I have over him, is uh, the ability to traverse the city much quicker. Now, here we are, we actually arrive into our next location and I, uh, I messed up a little bit on a continuity because it's actually in the movie. This is not what happens right after Danilo arrives to so St. Petersburg or anything, but it's close by, so who cares, right? This right here is the so-called uh, Sinoi Rinak, which in English means Sinoi Market, which is actually the location in which uh, Danilo murders one of the uh, rival gang leaders. Uh, so he has like a hit and it's one of the sort of action-heavy scenes in the entire movie. But uh, this place right here, I mean, it looks completely different nowadays. You actually cannot recognize any of it. If you watch the movie, it's, uh, you know, this uh, really gray, muddy area. But one way you can actually identify this uh, market to be what it is, is actually uh, just by looking at the buildings that are nearby. I'm trying to look for it right now. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of lost myself because, uh, you know, this actually is one of those locations that uh, shows you how 
much the city has changed since 1997, I think, which is uh, when they shot the movie. I'll be back with you guys in a second when I actually find what the hell I'm looking for. Okay, so actually I found something that signifies that this is the same place. So this building right here, check it out, see if you actually look at the footage from the movie. Uh, this is uh, one of the shots uh, when they filmed uh, basically Daniel walking through the markets. So this is one of those buildings uh, by which you can recognize this place, but otherwise it's completely different. You know, this building was not in place. None of this was here, you know, so it's one of the most uh, more unrecognizable places from the entire team, from the entire movie. All right, so that was it for the uh, market where Daniela carried out his hits. Now let's go and uh, get into our next location. Alright guys, here we are, we finally arrived to our next location, which is actually a uh, CD musical store basically here. Rock Ostrov, which basically means Rock Island, and uh, this is actually the place where Daniela used to buy his uh, CDs. Uh, particularly, this place is pretty interesting because since, you know, the movie came out and this place became, I guess, pretty popular, sort of like a cult place uh, for all the Barat fans, they've actually had uh, Daniela graffiti here as well, so uh, let's try to get inside and uh, check it out. А у вас можно снимать? Я просто снимаю про места из фильма «Брат». Спасибо. So there you go. I mean, they're playing uh, copyrighted music, which is kind of an issue for this video, to be fair. Because, <laughs> you know, obviously YouTube doesn't like that, but if I keep talking over it, we'll be fine, I'm pretty sure. Hello, man! I see you yeah, yeah. with a bolt and bankrupt. Sure. <laughs> Круто. Так, тебе лютеранское кладбище представить. Да, да, да. А ты был там уже вообще когда-нибудь? Я там был, но я сейчас туда поеду. Ну давай это. Работай, работай. <laughs> да, работаем. As you can see, since this is an old school store, they have actually vinyls from the Soviet Union. So, uh, vinyls that were pressed uh, by the Soviet Union, like uh, this right here, for example, Neodia, which was uh, one of the biggest uh, sort of uh, companies that actually put out uh, vinyls in the Soviet Union and actually brought Western music to the Soviet Union. As you can see here, it says, uh, Ministry of Culture of the USSR. Soviets, you know, Bolden Bankrupt is missing out. He's on his trip right now to uh, throughout, you know, the Trans-Siberian, but he'd probably be geeking out in this place, you know. Спасибо вам. До свидания. All right, there you go. Uh, this is exactly, uh, basically how you get a free pass to film anywhere in Russia, because uh, to be honest, in a lot of areas in Russia, uh, sometimes in certain stores, people don't want you filming, but the man in the store was actually really nice, you know, let me film, and this is like a free pass, basically, you know, you walk in and you say, I'm filming locations for the, from the movie Brat, and they're like, sure, you can film, because, uh, you know, it's, that movie is one thing that unites all Russians, you know what I mean? <laughs> no matter who you are, you will like that movie. And actually, what's really interesting is that, uh, you know, this store, uh, Rock Island, is actually located right next to the Lutheran uh, church known as Annenkirche. Actually, I visited it in my uh, St. Petersburg vlog. Now that we've seen the Rock Island, the legendary music store that Danilo bought his CDs for his Walkman at, and we've checked out the Lutheran church. From the Lutheran church, we're actually going to the Lutheran cemetery, which is one of the most famous locations from the movie Brat as well. So uh, let's get on our way and check it out. All right, people, we finally arrived to our next location, which is the uh, so-called uh, Smolensk Lutheran uh, Cemetery, which is actually where uh, one of the characters of the movie, Nemes, who was a homeless guy that Daniela actually rescued from like a 90s gangster in the market. Since, you know, Daniela was kind of homeless himself, didn't have a place to go, Nemes, this guy, this homeless dude who Daniela helped, took him to this cemetery right here, to a place where the homeless would reside in the movie. So yeah, this is basically a very old uh, Lutheran uh, cemetery, and it is a beautiful area, a beautiful location. I mean, on a day like this as well. But as you can see, I mean, this this is uh, on par with a lot of the cemeteries in Europe as well, as you can see, just the way the ground is and everything, it looks incredible. Obviously now, since I'm here, you know, I don't really want to film individual graves or points and stuff because I want to be respectful. But obviously, you know, I still want to film it and, you know, this just being such an incredible location, I guess it's a compliment to the film crew, really, that uh, they've scouted such incredible places for the movie that they remembered years and years after the movie came out and people still come here to see what it's like, but in real life. It is really fascinating, but I've actually never gone and uh, visited the place, the place where Daniela and uh, Niemitz, you know, the characters from actually sat and uh, had their like uh, homeless shelter at basically so that is exactly where we're going I have it uh, pulled up here on the map and uh, let's check it out 
Okay guys, here we are and I think I actually see it. So I think it's this thing right here, this very massive, um, how do you call it, like a crypt, I guess, uh, of some sort. It's actually, it actually is, again, since the movie Brad is such a big deal, this place, this specific uh, crypt right here, actually has like, on the Google Maps and stuff, it has the location of it. Uh, this right here, right here is where Daniela and Yemis would answer and this is where they would sit. Uh, right here, you know, sort of, uh, they had a, a fire going, I think. I think it's really interesting and overall, this uh, cemetery is a very, very interesting place here. Uh, something you would not see in a lot of Russian cities, definitely. And you know, even though this is obviously a cemetery, I don't actually know how active it is, I guess, to this day. I don't know if um, anybody's been buried here. For a very long while maybe maybe they have but at this point you know it's turned into almost like a park because as you can see there's people walking around here you know taking pictures people sitting on the benches and everything although i'm sure somebody maybe who has their grand 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 you know uh parents or something uh you know buried here maybe they come over here to actually pay respects but the majority of the even the residents of st petersburg come here just to uh look at this place because it is very interesting, it is very atmospheric, and uh, there's really nothing like it. So yeah, now we're leaving the uh, cemetery. Obviously, I feel a little bit weird recording here, because, you know, it's not really made for this, but since, you know, you're making a video on the uh, movie Brats, so this is one of the main locations, one of the most impressive locations from the movie, I would say, so it had to be in there. It's a bit funny as well, because actually when I was coming over here, uh, my taxi driver was like, you go into a cemetery? He was like, what is this? Hopefully this next taxi ride goes better, because we're going to our next destination. locations here in pretty close proximity first of all this wind right here is, is, is insane hopefully it doesn't ruin the audio of this video but as you can see right now we're actually in the uh, sort of the Soviet hoods of St. Petersburg yes uh, St. Petersburg is an old you know old school uh, to you know tourist Russia type buildings there's other areas of St. Petersburg as well anyways this area right here or this specific building right here first of all it's really interesting because it's like a commie block on legs which is actually something that I've uh, noticed is a very common thing in this neighborhood that I was going through it's like very very large commie blocks but instead of just you know standing in the ground they almost have this like leg system this wind man this is definitely obvious that i'm very close to the finnish uh gulf right now the gulf of finland because the wind is, is insane anyway yeah there's actually uh anchors here on this uh you know nearby the soviet commie block which is something you don't see very often you know not every soviet commie block has something like this as decoration. So, uh, so what is this location? Basically, this in this place uh, in uh, the movie Brat, this is actually the location where Danila gets shot. So yeah, basically Danila was actually walking through here. So he was walking here, and the killer himself was actually hiding right here. So uh, he was standing against this wall, you know, with a gun, sort of uh, steadily waiting uh, to pop Danila, to pop a cap in his ass. The killer shoots him, and Danila actually falls over this little ledge right here, sort of hides underneath it, and uh, basically shoots the killer from cover aesthetic in the uh <laughs> that babushka you know this is what the wind does to babushkas st petersburg what's up with y'all this wind babushkas cannot withstand this wind this is insane the audio is probably fucked in this part i'm gonna be honest <laughs> Yeah, Danilo gets shot by a gun here. I'm getting pierced by this wind. I think it's the same. <laughs> All right, well, this was the area where Danilo got shot. Now let's actually walk to our next area, which is actually very, very close by, you know, just five minutes from here. Let's go. Okay, guys, actually, here we are. This is the location I'm talking about. Now, um, this is a location from Brad that actually I think is uh, pretty fascinating because this is a place that you will never ever in your entire life recognized from having watched the movie but this is actually one of the places where they shot the film and you guys are gonna be amazed when I compare what it looked like in uh, 19 1997 to now you guys might be like what is this place well actually this is the location of the uh, scene in Brat where Danila meets with gangsters on like the shore there's a scene where Danila gets in the car with a bunch of uh, goons and he basically says his legendary phrase uh, Здорово, бандиты. Здорово, бандиты. so anyway that scene right it's in this area and I'm not mistaken guys I've checked multiple times is this area 
the car actually stood right here so essentially back in the day 20 years ago this place was the shore so here instead of this road instead of these new neighborhoods instead of everything 20 years ago if i was standing here in the exact same spot this would be just the beach and i would see the finish uh, the gulf of finland in front of me i would just see water and nothing else and i wouldn't have to shout at the top of my fucking lungs so that you guys can hear me <laughs> i would say this is one of the most surprising ones for me you know the reason why i picked this location is because yes it's not really picturesque i guess it's a very modern location doesn't have that old saint petersburg charm to it but seeing how different it is nowadays it's just really interesting to me you know i love seeing how places change over time yes as you can see the scene where danila gets shot and the scene where danila gets in that car and talks to his grooms was shot actually you know we're within a two minute walk from each other so sometimes it's really interesting to see how uh scenes that uh appear in completely different uh times in the movie were actually probably maybe shot subsequently uh i just find it really interesting as uh, well, I wouldn't call myself a filmmaker. I'm just a vlogger, YouTuber, but still, from a video filmmaking standpoint, it's very interesting. All right, guys, now that we've visited this Soviet area of St. Petersburg where Brat was filmed as well, let's get back to a more historical area and uh, check out the one last location. We have finally arrived. Uh, this is actually our last location here, which is actually a very popular touristic place, but it's uh, nevertheless still very beautiful. It's actually located here next to these uh, so-called rostral columns, which are like a very big symbol of St. Petersburg and this uh, old St. Petersburg Stock Exchange, which is unfortunately under reconstruction right now. It's been repaired, so we cannot see it in its full glory, but it's whatever. Basically, this area right here is um, very, very popular because arguably it has one of the best views um, of St. Petersburg as a whole, and also you can come to uh, the embankment directly here to check out the River Neva. And the reason we actually came to this location as, uh, you know, sort of the last location on our uh, trip throughout all of the places where the movie was shot is because it's basically one of the places which Danilo visits last in St. Petersburg when he sort of is leaving and is saying farewell to the city. So, so I think it would be only right for us to actually uh, wrap up this video in such a scenic location and sort of reminisce a little bit about the impact of this movie and uh, it's crazy because I'm right now filming a video for foreigners about locations from this from this Russian movie from 1997 and people will actually watch this and people actually write to me and say Roman you should do what's all of brat, brat locations you know my video review of the movie got like over 600,000 views or something which is crazy right there's very few Russian movies that were made after the fall of the Soviet Union that have become such cult classics and not only became popular in Russia or you know the ex-Soviet Union but also became huge in the West as well and Brat is one of those movies and I think it's incredible it just shows how much of an amazing job have, they've done so yeah before this win here absolutely kills me all I want to say is I guess uh, a big thank you to the lives and the work of Sergei Badrov and uh, the, the actor and Alexei Balabanov, the director of both Prat movies and several other great Russian movies. They gave us something special. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, this little tour of St. Petersburg and all the Prat locations. If you want to support me additionally, then go over to the link down in the description to my Patreon, donate to it. I would gladly appreciate it. It would help me out a lot, especially with all the money I spent on transport today. It's a hassle, to be honest, but I think it was worth it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. You know, share with your friends, subscribe, like, and comment, all that good stuff and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.